back on the sticks at it again. That range life. A show sometimes about golf episode 111. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're joining us in the podcast, thank you as always. And I hope you are telling your friends to download, listen, rate, leave a review, do all the things, please. And if you're joining us on YouTube, please go down below, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified for all the wonderful content we're going to be posting at all times. Leave a comment below, maybe give us a thumbs up. Appreciate it. That's Chris McHugh and I'm Bill Bush. Hey everybody. Pleasure to be back with you this week. We are doing I've, a uh, remote show. Oh, we are ahead. doing a remote show. I was just going to say, um, it's been fun to watch the podcast um, audience grow. It feels like the old days of the YouTube, the YouTube yeah. channel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. As like every week, that number, that count, and people just like YouTube, um, people are starting on episode one, like, you know, this week. And so I can see all of that, like, oh man, people are finding us and starting to listen. So, you know, this is kind of fun. It's kind of cool. Shout out to everybody uh, joining us there and the blossoming relationship we are all building. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy our golf adventures with us. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. All right. So remote show here. <coughs> there's a good uh that's why right there. that's why um <laughs> that's i just one. woke up just woke up and i said i can't i can't breathe um <laughs> and i didn't even get out of bed i rolled over i mean like it was bad i rolled over picked up my phone and i said should i text him nah it's still a little early i'll email him and i emailed you and said hey man i know you have your big trip coming up right I promise you this isn't COVID, one, because I recently had COVID, two, right. um, everybody and their mother is getting this cold right now around here, so I know it's going to be this cold. Uh, but I don't <laughs> want to risk, I wrote all of this out, this is word for word what I wrote. <laughs> I wrote, I don't want to have you even take the chance of dealing with symptoms and go, I swear it's not COVID, look, I'm testing, and I just don't want to deal with that with your trip. Don't want to create that element of chaos. For right. You. I appreciate that. Yeah. And um, I said, I will leave the choice with you, but here are my thoughts. And you wrote back, sounds like we're doing a remote show. <laughs> it's, ha, ha, it's ha. A remote show it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. So we're, we're here. Um, I was thinking about this and I was going to make some really good uh, a flu game reference and tie it into a topic, but I'm saving that topic okay. for future content that we have to do before you go on your lovely trip. Right. Um, I was thinking about this, though, in our two years of doing this shit, <laughs> I don't think we've either of us have ever really had a flu game episode. And I'm not all things considered. True. I'm not that bad. I mean, yeah, yeah probably questionable uh return to action for me in june july whenever that was but even still it wasn't that bad um when i had covid like that i would almost argue i'm having a harder time breathing now than i did with covid yeah you sound um, at least you sound more stuffed yeah well it's also fresh been. fresh right True. and to, to be fair uh i don't have a vaccination for whatever this is where i did with covid so if anyone's looking to downplay what we think about the significance of COVID, not going to work. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I like this is the first time I feel like we've ever done one of these shows. Now, don't get me wrong. Have we had shows where we're a little tired, maybe had a rough night before? Of oh, course. for sure. Yeah. Not the same. I mean, the famous flu game with Michael Jordan allegedly may have been a similar flu. May but, have been uh, self, self inflicted, sure. Right, right. But uh, right. yeah, so I'm just got a little bit of the. I mean, I have a box of Kleenex readily available <laughs> and, uh, to the point where I'm like, I just might not have a choice. So any yeah. coughing, sneezing, sniffling, this whole thing, I apologize. All right. Okay. Um, so, yeah, here we are. Um, had another food bit I was going to do following our Cinnamon Toast Crunch Bar. By the way, time. the uh, the rest of those Cinnamon Toast Crunch Bars came in real handy for me on Sunday. Really? They are all gone now. They put I put them instead of bringing them into the house. I put them directly into my golf bag, mm -hmm. and uh, on Sunday I just mount. I think they were gone by the, you know, during the front nine. So you're like right now. That's I appreciate that. Like yeah. ultimate golf golf. Sorry, now you get you. my golf my golf bag meals. Oh no, I I totally get it. I I forgot to send you a picture of me 
just hamming on one of those things. But I get it. You were with your other best friends, and it's true. I'm, I'm it's true. not. We were, t- we were busy grinding out par after par, but we'll get to that. Yeah, yeah, we will. And I, I got um, well. We'll get to that. Um, <laughs> I did golf this past uh, week as well. Nice okay. little, lovely. I mean, it was beautiful out. I mean, we're playing in shorts comfortably. The weather was great. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but what was interesting it was the same exact weather uh, or like wind and conditions minus the freezing ass cold from right. when we played. Right. And like, it's funny just how much difference the temperature makes because. Um, golf still seems very, very, very hard. At least I can feel my fingers though. And I would argue I played better in the colder conditions. Um, here's the other note. I probably play again, not knowing the win. I was playing a little bit more of a difficult course, village links of Glen Allen. Um, I lost so many golf balls. (laughs) Really? Like out like OB or just like into OB (laughs) water. I had like no control for the first, especially for like, I'd say the front, I'd say through the first eight holes, I just had first hole was okay. And then, um, I started feeling, I could feel I was a little squirrely on too. Like, yeah, getting, I mean, I wasn't, I came straight there. didn't hit any balls. Like, yeah, well, I, you know me. I don't expect anything. I don't expect anything to like the thirteenth hole anyway. Right. But uh, right. I grind out a par on the first hole. Second hole, I'm like, Ugh, okay, still a little feeling a little squirrely. And then the third hole's a par three, and it starts. Like I hit a six iron, <laughs> dead center of the face. Like ball speed for my six iron was probably 184 miles an hour. Right. right Just right. smoked the thing. Right. There's no idea where it went. And they're like, well, <laughs> left, right? And I go, I don't know. Right, I just didn't know. Um, yeah. So there's my first lost ball. The second hole or the fourth hole off the tee, winds at our back. Um, just hit the living daylights out of my tee shot with just like a little bit of cut, and the wind just takes her yeah. and puts it in this lake. That this is where I go. Yeah, the mere mortal probably isn't going to reach that. Well, today I reached it with ease, and right. I'm in it. So what, who, what day did you play? Last weekday. I don't, I don't remember. It was during the week. What, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was a week. That, just yes. that one, that one off 70 degree day. That was amazing. Yeah. Cause then it got all, it got crummy out again for a little while. There was like two good ones. I want to say. Yeah. yeah. Somewhere in like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So yeah, I was right. in the front to middle of the week yeah. and uh, like, wow, we had two lost balls and two holes. What do you know? Um, <laughs> fourth hole. Or fifth hole now. It's it's an interesting hole. There's really some days it plays really tough. Some days it plays really easy. Very dependent on the wind and club choice. So I went. All right, I'm just gonna hit a hybrid and let it land in this fairway. It'll be no problem. I I spray this hybrid just straight right, and it wasn't the hybrid again. Not the hybrid's fault. I was playing mm-hmm. the new the new uh, Tour Edge Exotic C722 hybrid. Watch okay. out for that review. And right. um, just hit a terrible shot. And, right. Oh, there's a little lake hiding over there. Third hole, the third ball in three holes. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Go up to number six, another par five. And I said, all right, no problem. And I don't hit it great, but into the wind and a little cut to it. I have this cut right now happening in my driver. Don't know why. I don't particularly care either. Fine. We'll we'll deal with it for now. Sure. Um, not a great shot, but I'm like, eh, it's against the wind. It's going to be fine. It'll be dry. No, I reached some water. It's in the water. Um, like, all right. That's three balls. Wow. Or, I'm sorry. Four. Four, four balls. balls and four yeah. holes. Yeah, no problem here. Um, so then it's, I, I finish at hole, whatever. Go to the seventh. I had a reprieve, a beautiful, a beautiful shot off mm-hmm. the tee, dead center of the fairway. It looked like a pro. Mm-hmm. Um, don't even. I don't remember what happened next. Uh, if I par the hole, it's sort of insignificant. And then the next hole is a real easy, um, a real easy par three which usually you can just like, whatever the distance is, you can just flip whatever club at the green and you're yeah. good. Um, but you get yourself a little bit of the 
the power draws, not quite a hook, but a power draw <laughs> with this right. wind. There is water that can come into play, oh um, not into play. Like it's it's not in play. You hit the shot into the water. Too right. bad. Right. So that's what I did. And I right. said, oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. And I only and I thought to myself, like, you're a competent golfer. You've been hitting the ball, right? Nine balls in the bag should be fine. So I was a little worried. There's always and, that, yeah, that that part. You know it's going poorly when you're like, how many do I have left in my golf bag? Well, my That's buddy never just a comes good up sign when you're <laughs> on the putting green and or, and just puts his or on a tee box, puts his arm around me, goes, I'll spot you a few top flights. <laughs> <laughs> and I know this guy, he play he takes he plays his pro v ones, but you know, I know he's not giving me a pro v one, he's giving right. me the top right. flights. And I said to him, I'll tell you what, man, it's times like these. I'm sure happy I have a golf ball deal. <laughs> <laughs> Official golf ball. That range life a show sometimes about golf. It's so as true. I was hey. using all these golf balls, I was sure happy I have a nice supply of Bridgestone right. golf balls, the best golf ball in the game. True. Did you see their new golf ball release this week? I did. I did. Pretty the exciting. Yellow, the yellow yeah. tour B. Do you want to know it's something weird? I'm I'm Chris, I'm not making this up. You know I'm a big Bridgestone golf ball supporter, whether they send them to me or not. Sure. I love them. Right. I had a dream this past week. Okay. I'm not kidding you. This is absolutely true and pretty embarrassing. I had a dream. I went to a PJ Superstore, Golf Galaxy or something, and I needed golf balls. I said, you know, I always get my Bridgestone Tour BX, Tour BXS. Maybe sure. I'll get some E12s. I don't know. I need yellow ones, though. I can't get white. I need yellow. And I was devastated. Because they didn't have any yellow. And I'm, I'm, are you telling me? Out. Are you telling me that the Bridgestone Yellow BX series is literally a dream come true for you? Is that what you're Isn't trying that, to tell me right now? <laughs> so think about this: like you, know, where we with the X Golf we go to, there's that PJ Superstore right there and Golf yeah. Galaxy. So in yeah, my yeah. dream, I'm like, no problem. I'll go to the other one. <laughs> Neither of them had it. And then fast forward a week ish, and that release comes out. It's like. Man, you know, I think I just need to close the computer for the day. That's <laughs> okay. Actually, I, as I was well, telling congratulations, the story, I guess I was like, "How do I? I should probably email that to our buddy yeah. Elliot over at Bridgestone. And be like, I, I'm not asking you for anything. I just this is a real story, and it, <laughs> it's a testament to how big of a, a loser slash dork I am. I know. I was, it. Say, I was gonna say psycho, but those also probably it's apply. not psycho. Like psych, come on. I mean, there's a lot of other things we know about each other that make us psychos on that. I mean, that's not it. That's true. <laughs> it's it's not it. It's fair. So anyway, um, no, I'm not going to tell. I, I'm going to tell you a story about this round. It's nothing bad, but it's just that, uh, you know, okay. along the lines of like, am I tagging you today? It was along those lines. So I, I'll, I got, I got a story about this round. I go off for you off the air. Fun. Leave it. Leave a comment below if you think you know what it is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't do that. I don't That's for our Patreon that. supporters. You can hear the yeah. story. <laughs> Patreon coming soon. God, what if we really did start a Patreon? I mean, uh, I mean, we could. Why not? The worst thing that well, happens is that, like, you know, my mom gives not? us some money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my, my my mom starts going i don't listen to that i don't consume any of it because she's like me she's like i i just i'm worried what you're gonna say and i have to hear it right and right. uh like this me saying this is a good example of it and uh <laughs> she's like i'll tell you what what if i pay you ten dollars a month on patreon <laughs> to make sure you don't talk about anything i'm gonna worry about i'm like right right make it 20 you got a deal <laughs> So that was my golf. Um, a lot okay. less exciting, but I did. I, it's it's weird because I lost all those golf balls, and I shockingly, in in this weather, uh, played pretty well to the point where I'm like, I'm playing some pretty good golf when I'm playing bad. Mm -hmm. Is it crazy me to maybe think I might have a decent golf year? I know it's kind of it's scary to be optimistic. Well, and so there's the same buddy who was offering to loan me some top flights, reminding me of like what I think my ultimate goal is going to be for forever. And I always forget and I got to stick with it. He hit a hole in one in the fall, his first one ever. So I'm like, okay. I still don't have it. He's like, you don't have a hole in one. I was like, I appreciate that you think I'm that good. Right. But no, I don't have one. Um, and every, every couple of years I go through this 
bit of like, I'm never going to be as good as I used to be, blah, blah, blah. But like, I could get pretty solid with my irons and just focus on my goal for the year being hole in ones. Like maybe I go shoot 136. Right, right. But I was really close to hole in one on a few holes. And one of those is eventually going to go in. Right. So I think, (laughs) I think you're going to, at some point, I might not be able to get off a tee. I might be terrible in my wedges. I might not be able to make a putt anymore, but man, I will be one of the best iron strikers. I guess like Luke Donald. Right. (laughs) Right. We do have to be, we have to, we have to make a pact um, to be more, um, uh, you know, when we have, we, we should be recording every par three shot that we ever take. But this is like where I used to be like, I always play a good ball on a par three just in case because you know the last thing you want is like some scuffed up right pinnacle right that right, you just right, right, right. threw down or a driving range ball and you hit a hole in one and that's what you got to put on your shelf so but i feel like that's the ultimate jinx so i don't i guess if we're oh. both doing it every time every hole it's not as much of a jinx it's just it's a just in case yeah, it, it's it needs to be all the I stuff. I mean, could you imagine all the videos and and nonsense that we've made, and we don't catch our possibly only hole in one ever in our lives on video? It'd be the dumbest thing we've ever. But done. But I think it has to stay between us. Say we're playing with intern Grant and the Rib. Like, no, no, no. Well, you it's going to be can't. on the show when they watch. So now they're going to know. No, I'll tell them straight to their face. Like this is a <laughs> this is a karma thing. This is a right. like a. A, a luck mojo thing. Don't take this personal. You do whatever you want with your phones. Right. <laughs> but we're already tempting fate and messing with forces we shouldn't be. We're not pushing it. <laughs> well, you, you've gone this long without having one without video. So maybe it's not a jinx. Maybe it's actually that's what you need. You need, you know, a camera on here. I need that pressure. I was watching... Yeah. Um, yeah the latest Brian brothers, uh, YouTube video today, uh, was, I didn't really enjoy it. It was fine. Just wasn't that good. And they're talking about the guys like, I rather have to hit golf shots in front of people than a golf shot for YouTube. That is scarier to me. And it feels like more pressure. And I'm like, I don't know if he's wrong. I feel like he might be right. That's interesting. There's no way I would much rather hit it in front of the four of us holding cameras. I at this point I don't even care. I'm like whoever wants to watch me hit a golf ball, however, wherever. Yeah. Enjoy. Watch out. Yeah. Speaking of a video I want okay. to do together, I want to do um, you know, the like oh Phil hitting flop shots over people bit. I think we just do it. No, it absolutely be- not. I will not Ooh. stand in front of any one of us. We'll wear a helmet. Get a hockey, no. I got hockey helmets. No, no, we'll do it. We're gonna do it. No, you can do it. I will not okay. stand in front of any of you and let you hit a flop shot over my head. You're out of your damn mind, and I'm probably the easiest one to flop over. I say I, I could do that, no problem. But okay. all right, fine. I don't. I, do it's not happening. Not a chance. I'll do it. I'll do it. Not it's a fine. chance. It's fine. I'll do it. Yep. Um, Great. You played the golf. Also, it's true. It's true. Uh, this- played, played in our first scramble of the year. Um, I, I love scrambles. I love them. They're so much fun. Uh, they're just so much fun. Everyone should do them. Uh, I don't know why it took so, so is long that all to you play. have to say about it. I don't know why it took so long for us to play. Um, it was like pick up at bogey and it was a scram. It was, oh, well, I guess technically it was, it was cart path only, which, cause we could have played our round in like two and a half hours. I mean, we were cruising okay. until we ran into the foursomes that were Which ahead is funny of us. because scrambles usually take, even in your own group, usually take forever. Yeah, I, I guess. But yeah, I mean, we all, I got to say this too. You <laughs> talked about, you know, your game feeling pretty good this early in the season, considering the conditions and everything else. And we were playing in some wind uh, as well on, on a not necessarily easy golf course. It's a little tricky. Uh, to say car path only at the course you played at is... Yeah. The yeah. worst. And yeah, I've, had, I've had it there once too in a scramble and it was yeah. terrible. It's not great. Um, but we were still cruising because, uh, oh, back to the, back to your point. Um, my problem off the tee or my problem, uh, you know, with my game this year does not seem like it'll be off the tee. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was, we had a great system in place. Um, first of all, and then we had Adam who's a fairway hitting machine. Uh, 
and then Riv, who can hit the ball a mile, and he was hitting the ball well off the tee. So most of the time we were going to play his shot off the tee if it was in the fairway. And then we had intern Grant, who was our safety valve. He would always go first and say, I'm just going to put something in play. And then the rest of us could get after it, right? Um, I mean, at one point, I was toying, I was like practicing. I was hitting, I was trying to hit draws off the tee because by the time I went, I would anchor. By the time I went last, it was so safe. I'm like, oh, all right, I'm going to try to hit this shot that I don't usually hit uh, on a couple of tee boxes just to do it. And even those necessarily weren't great shots, but they were still in play or in the fairway and still, you know, a short iron away. So, um, yeah, feeling pretty good with the uh, with the driver. Honestly, by the way, I didn't say my I'm feeling pretty good. My game's in good shape. I'm saying it's not, and things mm. are still like they're not blowing mm. apart and i'm not scoring that bad or whatever which is mind-blowing to me yeah um like that's almost scarier than if things like right. oh i'm playing pretty well feeling pretty good just go the right way it's like if i can if i'm surviving in this like mediocrity at which i'm <laughs> right. playing right and i'm hitting the ball this bad and i'm i'm parking four balls in the water and right. the right. front nine like okay all right yeah yeah, but um, yeah, so we were, my problem is going to be irons. My mid irons are, I got, there's some work to be done there for sure, um, which isn't necessarily anything new, quite honestly. But uh, yeah, we made, so we were really good off the tee. All of us are really good off the tee. And then it seemed we were all kind of in the same boat as we got closer to the hole, including zero of us, at least for the first eight, nine, 10 holes. Could not make a putt. We didn't make a putt outside 10 feet. Four tries. Four tries, ladies and gentlemen. We could not hit a putt outside 10 feet. Uh, or, you know, like outside eight, probably. We were terrible on the putting greens. and But we kept just grinding out pars. For We had probably six pars to start, including a par five, which broke our hearts. I think we three putted a par five, which was brutal, considering that there were four of us. Um, but, uh, but then, William... We all had a Reuben sandwich, each of us. We didn't share Absolutely. a Reuben sandwich. We all had, we all had, each had a Reuben, and uh, and then the magic began to really happen. And we went, I think, in the last four holes, we were five under, including an eagle by none other, an eagle putt by none other, none other than intern Grant. That was probably, I'll say, forty to fifty feet. I'm gonna tell you, he quoted me sixty. Okay, it, it could have he been. Said, it was, and I it was forever. Him, he dropped two 60-foot bombs, I believe. The he first said. one wasn't 60 foot, but it was lo- It was pretty long. The second one was long. I think the second was longer. The first one was a f- far more difficult putt right. uh, to eagle. Um, but yeah, that was that was really something. Uh, that was, I think, on the f- – was that in the – that was before our run because I think we only eagled one during that run. But we went birdie, 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 eagle to end – the round, which was just a blast. I, I, on 11, you'll let Island green, um, by the way, and a, yeah. It. And then outing, I made a 55 foot putt for birdie on that Island green. I was like, ah, I'm a good golfer. No big deal. Cool. I love it. When you make you, my stories about you, uh, I'm saying, but, oh, um, yeah, that's what I'm anyways, doing. I'm not so relating to your experience on the, uh, on the Island green. I made something similar off the green to birdie that one. I made another, I made a putt myself, uh, off the green on that one. And then, uh, yeah, it was just, I think we ended up for the day we were eight under, which was, it sounds okay, but it was kind of miraculous considering how like just grindy it felt. Uh, but that, that's a fun part to me of a scramble like that is because you just don't get to play golf as a team like that so much. And, uh, and yeah, it's just kind of each, each one of us picking each other up here and there. What are you and, talking about the Saudi you know, golf leagues? Had- showing us that golf's a team sport now right but yeah it was uh, i think i we don't even know who i had to bolt right away because the dog was having a bad day so i had to get home but uh, i don't even know what the winning score was i'm gonna guess it was somewhere around 12 to 14 under because it was real yeah. soft you know of course real soft can i say this too though listen to me ruffled feathers out in lamont uh great golf course uh i love the place don't get me wrong um really fun from the play it's very it's very pete die the whole bit but when you're hosting a scramble two things uh 
with scramble including range balls, right? Uh, maybe have more than five spots for guys to hit on the range. That was a joke. Listen, I, that I was won't a joke. I won't uh, add to similar thoughts and experiences because of being accused of making stories about me. Um, <laughs> same course. Yeah, I have I have a lot of thoughts about that golf course, the facilities, and how they host events. Just saying. Yeah, I'm not so surprised to hear. I'm not surprised yeah. to hear this feedback from you. Yeah, that's part one. Um, I mean, come on, are you joking? Like guys are like trying to borrow balls and move them. Like, get come on, don't be just put them. Up. Maybe you, whatever. I don't know. But anyways, if so a memory one, serves too, they do that. But it's not like they don't have the room for it. But it's the no, whole a like ton of room. Well, they didn't want right, hit off grass. I'm sure that's what it was. They only had well, so many right, mats. and the health of the yeah, right yeah. when you move your boxes yeah. or just hit them right. <laughs> when you move the box around. But it's like then don't charge me a hundred bucks to play exactly. in a scram. Yeah, exactly. Don't sell me on these range balls that are included because I didn't hit one of them. You know what I did instead? Adam and I went over there. We saw that there were like literally lines for these five spots like dudes are trying to tech guys are trying to get hit hit a couple balls I'm like well we'll go putt we'll go over to the practice screen and hit some putts we're over there i hit three or four putts guy comes over and says oh sorry guys the there's a bunch of us out there sorry guys the green the practice green's closed like, which for what? the record i can understand this time of year you won't it's not uncommon to see at a lot of these courses yeah, it's, but it's like, fine but come on you're hosting Goddamn scramble, man! Like what? You're charging a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars for a scramble. Yeah. yeah, so that was a bit disappointing. Um, otherwise, the Reuben was fantastic. Uh, it seemed like I didn't eat it, but they made. They also had chili included, which was I think good. But guys, other guys ate it. Um, you know, a couple drinks, great. It was fine, but like that's a seventy five dollars scramble. It's not a hundred dollars scramble. You know, like come on. I mean, was there any? It's sort a spring. Of like- it's a it's a March whatever it was March twentieth scramble. So it's not like the course is immaculate yet. Like come on, guys. Uh, that course is never immaculate. Oh, I don't know. I've never played it in season because it's expensive during the season. It's like a hundred twenty five bucks. Mine tip, my same, um, and they yeah. are typically outings. Why I've played it in season? Yeah, yeah. And it hit, uh, I, I will say this though. Um, after now, I I had played. Ruffled feathers before, knew that it was a peat dye. Um, very familiar with sawgrass um, from television, uh, but then going to French Lick and playing like the extremist or the you know the the extreme peat dye that's there with the big pushed up fairways. And if you miss the fairway, you know it's down these hills. Um, yeah. Very very dramatic. You can definitely see that in Ruffled Feathers, which I had a, I did have an appreciation for. I did appreciate the way. I now feel like when you went to does French. That, went to French Lick, we talked about, we might have even talked about Ralph of Feathers, and I, f- this may be revisionist history, but I mm. feel like I remember even in our discussion being like, hey, I'll be interested to see when you go back to Ralph of Feathers, yeah. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. you think of it. Because um, I think you're right, and this is sort of my beef with it, because all you hear about from a lot of the like, uh, Chicago and golf bro community. It's like, well, it's a Pete die ruffled feathers, man. Right. And it's like, right. okay, fine. But it feels every bit of the like generic suburban Pete die slap his name onto it. Version of Pete die. Like, it's fine. It's good. I'm not saying the There's, design's yes, bad. There, right. Right. But if you're, there, if you're going yeah. there thinking, Oh, this is a guy who did Sawgrass. This is a guy who did Whistling Straits. This is a right. guy who did uh, French Lick. Like, right? It's not right, and I can Correct. see why the whole the whole story arc of oh, it's for Michael Jordan, and he was going to bring all his friends to belong there. Like, it doesn't capture like the golf majesty to me. That is a big extravagant Pete Dye thing. And I would, I would imagine if you're Michael Jordan and friends that you want something, something with that shine to it for lack of a better term, I guess. But, um, sure, sure. But, but there are, there are times, um, on that course where, um, some of the French lick and, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. and, uh, sawgrass and things where, you know, you, if you want to get real architecturally nerdy, but you do, you do have decisions that you can make. You have shorter par fours where yeah. you can tempt things. You have long par fives where you, there are this, there's a split fairway, which, you know, if you want to run it up left, 
along the water, you'll get, you know, you'll gain yourself whatever it is, 30 yards base instead of going around. Um, so there's some things that make it kind of fun to think through yeah, a little bit. And it worked out well too um, for us because, you know, Grant would take at times a bit of the safer route, which would allow me or Riv to try to, you know, play with danger a little bit, flirt with danger and try to go after it. Um, by the way, in my, in my round, or the scramble round, um, I was shocked. Usually, you know, when you're playing those scrambles and you know, you have those moments where it's like, all right, Chris, swing as hard as you want, as hard as you can, because we're safe and we're in a good position. You lose gobs and gobs of golf balls. Uh, right. I, I only think I lost two on the day. And one of them was on 11, um, the Island green, because I was short and I still can't believe I was short on that because it was the pin was at like one oh five, probably like one hundred five yeah. yards, one hundred eight yards, something like that. I hit a fifty two, and we did have wind coming at us a little bit. It was a front pin. Um, I hit a fifty two in there, which is should have been plenty of club. That's a hundred twenty five yard club for me at a full full hack, and uh, it got hung up and fell just short of the, of the, uh, of the green and went to the water, which is a bummer, but I, I made up for it. Uh, it wasn't quite as long as your 80 foot putt on the Island green. I'd say that you I'd talked say. about, uh, sorry, 120 50. foot. Uh, did you just put it over the water? Did you just put watch, it from the I, green? I said, watch, watch this, <laughs> watch this, but, uh, I didn't even, yeah. even tee it up, but it's Side a blast. Note. I can't wait for uh future, for future you- video. <laughs> We're going there, and we're going to hit specifically on that hole. We're hitting putters off tees. Hitting we can putter. even we bring c- junk. You could. I'll supply the junk putters. You could. Um, yeah, because it's not a that hole, man. I get it. I get sawgrass. That hole is not hard. It's not that hard. It's a wedge yeah. shot. It's a wedge shot. That's it. Um, but you know, you you they toy with you a little bit with the pin, like that pin that they had on there on Sunday with that front pin. Um, you know, if you want to, sh- if you want to hit that shot, you're, you're going to end up like me sometimes, which is just short because you're trying to be cute with it. But man, why is the pace of play so bad? There's a group out on 11 that is just <laughs> letting everybody play through because the hell you, bent on hitting you, putters <laughs> off the tee and hitting the green. <laughs> could you imagine if that's how you got your first hole in one putter? Yeah. It would be, it would be at, my life. At the 11 on uh, Ruffled Feathers. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I can't What's wait to play it whole- again. It was really fun. Um, I love scrambles. I can't wait to do it. Uh, I would, I would do it like if you and me want to go out one time, we've talked about it doing like a, a video on it and just like, let's just go play a scramble. Let's just see what we can shoot. Cause it's also fun to shoot eight under. Right. And feel you know, like I just have a ton of birdie. Right. Like we had so many birdie looks. We had bird, like, it's just fun, you know? I love so. when you play, like, I hate to be like this about scrambles because everyone says it and like, oh, it's what, of course, it's what you say, but like, they're so, and I'm not saying anybody was cheating in this scramble and whoever won it was cheating right. by any means. Right, right, right. But um, it's like pencil whipping happens like crazy in these scrambles. Um, I I love when I'm like, man, I put we got a pretty good scramble team. And it's been a while since I've done this, but got a good scramble team here. And we go out and shoot like, minus eight minus nine and i go yeah. i i know this game fairly well i know that course how it's playing today minus 10 11 12 isn't out there it's not out there we're <laughs> gonna be pretty tough to beat and someone right. comes in they're like yeah we were uh we were 19 under right and we shot like, a 56 yeah like, oh okay cool right <laughs> right and yeah then, i never no. worry about that like i just like to, i'd like to see how low we can go because uh riv and i were reminiscing a, um a few years back we played uh god i couldn't remember the name of the golf course net then i can't remember it now um we played in a two-man scramble two-person scramble uh in a, in naperville and um and we shot we played really well we i think we put we shot like five under six under which is good yeah. for a two-person scramble that was, it was very pretty, good yeah pretty decent yeah we were like man we might you know, we might have something here. And we got in and like, yeah, some two guys shot like whatever, 12 under or some bullshit. We're like, okay. Yeah. And right. then the, the real, the real bitch of it was, uh, we shot so well that they, we ended up in the first flight, but like on the <laughs> bottom, the bottom third of the first flight, you know, like right. had we shot four on there, we would have won the second flight. Imagine. Yeah. God. Scrambles are fun. We should, you, yeah, we need to do, do I, I would like to just do competitive ones with you. 
as oh, much as possible. Two man, yeah, for sure. For um, sure. they're a blast. It just was making me think of another one where I was playing with my dad and my uncle in this outing. He he hosts every year, and usually we have a fourth, but our fourth dropped, and this is like peak of my golf game. Um, I was playing out of my mind. I we just we were on. Let's say we. I was on fire, mm-hmm. uh, getting the support from them. We we come in and this outing and the it's like a it's like a late season outing. So and it's in Wisconsin, so the conditions get get bad and um, right right. It was probably forty five degrees, windy, sunny but windy. <laughs> right, uh, course was a little damp. Um, but I play I at this time, you know, I played in the outing for years. I know who's in it and how people play. Um, I'm like Jesus Christ, no one ever shoots like this in this thing. Like my uncle's gonna be pumped because it's his. He he's like a chair person in the out. I'm like, yeah, we just won his out, and there's no way this guy's <laughs> gonna owe me. <laughs> so we, I think, yeah, we post like six under something like that. And um, again, the court, it's not out there. It's not out there. Uh, and I see the guys who win. They shot nine under, but the problem was I saw these guys. They were like, I mean, they were blue jeans golfers. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. And, right. I, and you just see them go up to like accept the award. And you can just tell by the like look on their face. It was almost like a bell curve of the look. There's one where it's like <laughs> they're so overzealous and like, oh my God, I can't. I'm so pumped I won this thing. Where you're like, uh something's right. not right here. Right. right. Then there's like everything in between to normal and then there's like almost the scared overconfident look like, yeah i yeah right. obviously i won this right. and they had that one going and i'm like well gentlemen we just lost to cheaters it is yeah. what it is yeah and uh i we were talking like with his friend he's like are you sure and i'm like i saw those guys out there they're terrible i'm like they didn't hit the ball far enough to win this thing like it's just not possible <laughs> and my uncle's like oh well are you sure i'm like look i you're mistaking me for someone who cares that much i'm just happy that i played golf today and played well yeah i'm here for the charity right the principle of it though is those dudes did not beat us right yeah <laughs> right then my uncle's like well i should talk to him like please don't i'm not <laughs> here to get into this i don't right. care that much i'm gonna go home to chicago right and get away from all of you and i <laughs> never have this be a, my problem again right Interestingly enough, I don't play in that golf. Now, yeah, now that golf outing, a foursome back then, it was like 300 bucks for a foursome. Now it's like $2,000 for a foursome. Oh my so God. Was, I'm done yeah. with this. Yeah. Done with I, this. Hey, who didn't someone chip in too <clears throat> for you guys? Yeah, granted. Yeah. But maybe that maybe that was his uh his other that, 60 foot bomb. Yeah, and that was um it was very dramatic and he was bagging on himself. That was that's kind of what what sparked us, quite honestly. Okay. Okay. Um yeah, he chipped in for birdie. Um and it was one of those where it's like it it looked like every everyone thought it was going to hang up right on the edge like left side of the cup like it kind of kind of steered just a little bit left um and just hung there and then just fell nice. in. And there's hey, high fives hole, all around. What hole is it there? It's a short ish par four that wraps around like kind of the dog uphill, leg dog left. left with a big willow tree. And then there's like and you a can little take that body on. of water by the T box. Yeah. 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 Uh what is that? That's probably 13, 12 okay. or 13. Cause we um yeah, because Grant hit like four iron into the fairway. He took the he took kind of the the easier or the safer route. And then the three of us tried to get to the green with driver. And we were all probably I think actually Adam might have gotten just onto the fringe. But yeah, you can take you can cut the corner hard. Let's say it's, it's a uh, very that- Pete Dye hole. That that one's very Pete Dye. Like it's raised, the fairway's raised up. It, it's kind of twisty a little bit, dog legs. But you can still you can if you want to try to take that tree on and get to the green. You well, can. and it's wild too because like depending <clears throat> depending on where the tees are and the wind that day. Yep, you can hit five wood into that tee, but yes. that green sometimes. So I've hit I've hit the green there with a five wood, and I've like just flushed a driver and just you know 
rammed into that willow tree too. Right. But <laughs> right. Yeah. The, matter of fact, a, I was, we were talking, um, so we all hit driver this time into the wind, all a little short. I almost killed a guy with a three wood the last time we played because the wind was at our back and I didn't think I'd quite make it. It was left of the, it was left of the green and the guys were had like, there's one dude left walking over to the next tee and, uh, he complimented the shot, but he was like, you know, you could have killed me. <laughs> it's like, fair. As soon as you fair. said that, I could think of it in the Happy Gilmore. I think you killed that guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the, so the big, the, in the, biggest takeaway i have of ruffled feathers in that hole in season the birds are out nature is at its fullest sure there's always a red winged blackbird in those reeds being ultra protective oh, yeah, yeah. of a nest and they're known for it yeah. and this thing it's it was i don't know I mean, I mean, at this point i wouldn't assume it's the same bird but like it attacks you it very and when well I say attacks I mean, you it doesn't fly just fly around you it gets on you makes contact and it like you can't hit your tee shot i've been hit by the bird you know like talons into your skin and you're (laughs) beaking at you and you're like jesus christ dude so that's like that's one of the that's why they call it ruffled feathers i guess yeah very uh, good yeah so between that and the place being a swamp i'm always like yeah you know maybe maybe i'll save my hundred bucks and just go play Good old St. Andrews. Yeah. I, is there – let me ask you something. Let me ask you. We didn't – I don't think let's this get, is on our hey, list. Let's get, real, let's get real for a second. There, okay. So you've got, you've got $125. Um, you can only spend it on golf. Right. What course are you going to in this area that is public? These and days. Would, yeah. Like Harborside is not worth that money. No. Nope. Feathers isn't worth that money. No. Are you going to like – what is it? Thunderhawk? Way up I've north. Never played, I've never played Thunderhawk, and everyone it's gorgeous. Has to. It's gorgeous. It. It's beautiful. Yeah, we should make a road trip up there this year. I would go play, and you can you can get away with not spending one hundred twenty five dollars there. But I know Sunday they have those rounds. But like, Sunday. where where are we going? God, that's a tough one. I know. I I just I, I've never course, played the other one. I've never played that's in that price bracket is uh, Bose Creek, and because I've heard enough people be like, let me kind of along the ruffled feathers lines, like let me tell you why uh, hmm. you're overpaying for Bose, but I I won't comment either way because I've never done it. But I'm very big, like I love Highlands of Elgin so much. Like if I'm out yeah. that way, I'll just go play Highlands yeah. of Elgin, yeah, yeah, which is you know bad for my ledger of golf course history so i, I should just do bows one day <laughs> well i've heard good things I, about bows uh what about cantigny is that worth 125 bucks absolutely you never played it i haven't no absolutely not and yeah, that i okay. mean it's everyone's always like oh it's really the condition whatever like, it is always in good shape yeah um it's fine it's interesting i've really in, i like i that's the problem everyone thinks i'm criticizing it i'm not it's fun. I like the golf course. I love to play there. It's not worth $120. If I'm going to spend that kind of money, I'd rather right. go over to the Prairie Landing, get the shit kicked out of me there. Sure. That's a good um, choice. I would go to Prairie Landing. And, and but it's, it's, I, I don't know what it is while. about that place. It's fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, so that's at the top of my list. Um, I, I feel like ravines at cog used to be a hundred dollar round, but I feel like now that's easy to get. Not at that much. Yeah. But yeah. For 125 bucks. I can't really think of much. I don't no, think seven. I, and yeah. This is a pl- my big like plight of Chicago land golf. Yeah. I think the quote unquote cool public courses that do cost that much aren't worth, worth it. Right. And then you right. get left with the like medium price courses, which are, are like arguably underwhelming whereas if you went to michigan and you paid 125 dollars for a course oh, it's a 125 dollar golf course yeah you you would feel like you got your money's worth and then some i feel like in those courses those michigan courses where you also run into like a 30 dollar public course here right. is a, worse than a goat track in michigan you pay 30 dollars and it's it could be glorious mm-hmm. so i in wisconsin has that yeah. a little bit too i was gonna say wisconsin has some of that too I, sure. I think but like the bang for your buck quality like if you go you know what i'm gonna spend a hundred wait i got the answer after all this i don't it's not uh you said around here yeah this is a stretch it's okay. not really around here but oh, i know what you're put a say. thunderhawk in around here tpc deer run Silver, right. illinois right yeah far and away 
far right. and away. So you got to travel. How far is that? Three hours uh, outside the me, city? No, for me. Yeah. Outside the city. I'm like, for me, that's like two hours and 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Right. At right. that point, Aaron, Aaron Hills is on the radar. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. So yeah, you from the suburbs, you got to go. How, how far is it? So it's another hour for me probably to get out there. I'm 45 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's where I got to go to get value for my C note. But Man, that's but still this freaking Illinois. That's a good point. Other than Prairie Landing, I don't, I don't, I don't really think many of uh, it, the value of the golf, the public golf course here, where you're like, let's. I, and this was a big thing for me when I'm, you know, we talk about kid jail. Hey, I get to play once in <laughs> right. six weeks. Let's make a count. I'm not saying you spend a hundred bucks, but like, hey, we got to spend eighty five dollars and play somewhere yeah. like Primo. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe I'm up for it. It's say I yeah. want to do that, or I haven't played in like two and a half months. Let's do that. Mm-hmm. Where do you go? Right. Right. And I, I like, I don't think we have that. And I think sad. we have like, we have. Um, it's true. It's Which, really depressing. This is sort of blasphemy right. because there's all these people like, oh, what are you talking about? Harborside this, and it's like, no, no, no. Yeah, no. I know they got all the name. We got the names. Cog Hill. Everyone talks about Cog Hill. We've got Har- Harborside has got a long way. I, until they get those paths fixed, yeah. I'm not going back, man. Because those paths were not – that is not okay. That is not okay. The golf course is fine. It's – to me, I think this really – there there isn't a golf course that that we would play <clears throat> or in the Chicagoland area that is worth more than about, like you said, $80. $80. Right. Cart, cart and 18 I just and don't I think will- it exists. I will not include Bowes Creek in that argument because I haven't yes, seen it. That's fair. The, so, there's some that we haven't played. I don't like. Is Bolingbrook public? It is, and that's another one I hear really. I hear very like very good things, but also yeah. sort of like you got to be kidding me here. It's not worth this. Um, yeah, like Mistwood. I, I haven't played Mistwood either, but I don't. I've heard. I've yeah. I've, I'm, I've told I'm not you. Get we into did it, it on the show. Yeah. 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 My horror stories of it, and, and you're uh, not the only one that's. Shared that, those sorts of stories about right the people it's, of Mistwood. Let's put it brutal. that way. Brutal. Yeah, I forgot. Adam Unfiltered said, um, "What what is his um, code name for Joliet in his in his book?" Oh, I forgot. Oh, Alverton. Alverton. Yeah, that's where yeah, yeah. all the Alverton members went. Um, right. right. It's yeah, it's brutal. And so when you yeah. say to me, and it's a pain in the ass to get to. Right. And so when you finally weave your way over to it. And you're like, oh, this cost me ninety five dollars today. You want to blow your brains out, so <laughs> yeah. that's why when people are like, where where should I play in Chicago? Or my answer is like Schaumburg, Ravislow, Mount Prospect. These are like you know these sixty dollar courses, seventy five dollar courses that you know are fun. It's it's a good course, yeah. You know, and you can. Go have a well, good pa- and then that's when I start getting into like who does the best like pound for pound good golf course, and that's where I start running into. And I use Indian Lakes used to be in in Bloomingdale. Um, mm-hmm. That's all that that whole story still mind blowing to me. That place, but that was one you go out there for like forty five bucks. The course was fun. It was in pretty good shape. The holes were fairly interesting. Yeah, um, so I those are the things. I love Mount Prospect. Mount Prospect, I feel like has a little more. Uh, panache, if you will, a little more well, really? flair to so? it. Okay. Uh, well, because of the whole redesign they did. Yeah, but and I mean, all the you work can walk, put into it. You can walk Mount Prospect for fifty bucks. Um, in roughly, but it's four supposed hours. to be a little shiny and nice. Like it is, you should it have is. expectations of it. Yeah. Where it's like, I think of like St. Andrews, and I, I do like they're not great courses, but Cog One and Three, I do find fun to play. I love. Um, I, I mean, we've both we've both. Uh, professed our love for ravines i love that golf course yeah I mean, well a blast but that, that's in our i'm, I'm putting yeah, that right. in our it's upper next, category right but right, in that right. like hey for 40 bucks where do you go play that's decent and i you're think right. st andrews cog hill um one and three like that's where i end up going well for that i i'll just go spend 45 dollars and play st andrews and love it it's it's fine right. i'd rather do that than be like this wasn't worth a hundred bucks. This wasn't worth 80 bucks. And the, I, if I hear one more time, uh, the, the likes of Cantini and whatnot, like, Oh, but you get the country club experience. Yeah. I don't give a in shit in the public. That. I'm like, no, you that. don't. I'm going to tell you yeah. right now. You don't. Right. You don't right. get it. I'm not sitting in a locker room with some guy walking up to me going, Hey, can I get you anything to drink? Can I, 
uh, go get your car detailed while you're playing right. golf today. Hey, here's can I our, bring you? Here's our endless jars of candy and cookies and snacks yeah. in the locker can room. Can I bring you a a Reuben out to the driving range? Or right. you know, like you, right. it's not the same thing. And because I can get some like twelve year old with a summer job carrying my golf bag for me, like don't get me wrong, absolute value in the job, the experience for this kid. I'm not saying that, of course, but to tell me. Like, wow, I'm really getting a country club experience out of that. It's it's like, knock it off. Don't charge <laughs> me $120 and try to be like, because there's a bag drop and there's and a bag and, drop. And, and that is a country, yeah, and that's balls, a country right. club experience. Actually, right. Cantini, I don't even think that's the case. You got to pay for your range balls. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. So $120 for the country club experience. Like, I don't, I've never seen that any course that makes that public public country club claim. I've just never seen it. Yeah. Not here at least. Yeah. Right. But supposedly Bose Creek does a good job of it. So I will, again, omitted from this claim. I've never seen it. One day I'll find out for myself. And I think I've heard the same of a Bolingbrook, which I've never played. I mean, Bolingbrook's on my list this year. I'm getting that done. Yeah, we're going to play Bolingbrook? It, it shall be so. That was uh that was quite the we had we had, that was not for once we went totally off script we have all this other stuff and we'll just we'll save it William yeah I mean look at us what a what a talk show <laughs> we did Couple. like super hardcore Chicago golf we're due for one I feel like we have about hmm, what three or four of those a year <laughs> so <laughs> pretty much where we actually have like a legitimate conversation about things rather than you know. Our, wrapping our about topic, some bullet points topic yeah. sheet yeah right right that's what you mean that's, wait that's what we do that's what we're here for that's why people download and view this show chris that's, that's why, why that's they why it. they subscribe that's why they like the videos and that's why they hit the bells good point go down below leave a comment <laughs> of uh which chicagoland golf courses you'd spend a hundred bucks on and tell us why maybe we'll get a nice lively debate um all right Chris, anything yes. you got to plug this week? Well, we've got chapter five, the final chapter of Golf Stories Volume One, Secret Tour Pro that's gone out. So I did the math on it. I think it's uh, all five episodes total are, I think I called it like a long car drive. It's about 125 minutes total. So you can go and just start listening. And you'll, before you know it, you'll be through it and you'll be um, amazed and astounded by the story that Adam Von Sika tells us. Maybe even um, flabbergasted. And perhaps even flag. We also had uh, the uh, the Tour Edge E722 and C722 Gear Talk drop mm-hmm. last weekend. Um, of course, that thing's caught fire. Um, I assume it's because because every, everyone wants to see uh, our swings. Um, you know. Do you know what I noticed watching that? Watching back in that video because you know we were obviously making it and I don't remember it. Yeah. Um, at that point. We would have done some work, started working on that. Um, it was probably nine ish, nine fifteen in the morning. True. The amount of bros, you bros, and I mean bros, like not really bros, like older dudes yeah, in yeah. the background yeah. with their drinks, their beers, right. their bloody right. marys. Like and true. when we were there, we noticed it. Like they were getting after it. Yeah, Just, man. Yeah, I, I was. It was a real. It was a real kind of uh, dad fest. And I don't know if, it was, were, if, if I was sad or kind of impressed. I just like kind of wanted to be part of it, but also wanted to kind of stay away from it. Well, and at know. 37 years old, I'm like, I, you, I, I'm, I'd be dead for the rest of the day. I don't know how you guys are pulling this off. <laughs> You're professionals, man. Go on. Those are like man. my people. Those are my people. Yeah, <laughs> they are. Um, what do you got going on? You got a lot going on. Like, you've got unboxings. You've got reviews. Like Jesus, man. Yeah, I mean, it's, ooh, it's tough. Remember it's that tough time you told me you were going like, to take SEO, it easy and relax? SEO strategy, you know what I mean? And yeah. think like, wait, this is going to do what now? And speaking of uh, tour edge stuff, by the way, a sneak preview coming up. Oh, nice. I'm in the midst of the E722 hybrid review. Great. Oh boy! How about you this, and me? Uh, when I get back, um, maybe meet up at a driving range with a Mevo and uh, with a camera. 
do some stuff yeah, with some that. of that stuff. Yeah, we're going to have some stuff by then too to uh, get to work on some it's things. True. It's true. Watch <laughs> out for that. Watch out for that guy coming up. It's ooh, yeah. it's something. Um, but you can go to drivingjoes.com, check out my Tour Edge C722 Fairway Wood review. Um, I'm going to have a lot of thoughts. That's something we need to get a gear talk on too. Yeah. Um, a nice intriguing new piece of equipment this year the kbs tour light iron shaft steel shaft Mm -hmm, Uh, mm i think if you love the signature kbs tour but a lightweight version check that out and uh the another unboxing that i'm hoping will blow up the uh air jordan 12 what's in the box is also i reposted up on the website for people to check out um we it's not time sensitive, but you know, I I don't know. Maybe I'm a, a nerd, but I know other people are like me that love golf, love Michael Jordan and Air Jordan shoes. So we'll we'll talk about that on the show eventually. But go check out the unboxing. Um, appreciate that as always. Yeah. But yeah, that's uh, that's it for this week. It's good enough. All right, all right, Chris. Thank you. Yeah, no. For joining me remotely, I'm sorry I got a cold. Um, it's driving me crazy. I can't and wait I to go. Ex- like- I was I, honestly, uh, I was I was looking forward to to another one more garage show before I was going to leave <sighs> the country. Um, I look forward to but, that more you know, than you. Uh, yeah, so much. And when I get back, here. when I get back, when you get back, so uh, go check him out at Chris McEwen on all the social sure. medias. I'm Bill Bush, JerryRangeHeroes.com at Range Heroes on all the social medias. Hey. Thanks for joining us, everybody. It's been a pleasure as always. Make sure you go down below, do all the subscribes and all that stuff too. All right. We appreciate it. This has been the At Range Life, a show sometimes about golf, episode 111. We love you. We thank you. We'll talk to you next time.